Show business, you know, is a tricky game, as I've explained many times here on this show. It really is the sort of thing that you have to be very well prepared for. And indeed, it never stops, no matter how high you climb up that ladder of success. It's interesting to note at the recent Olivier Awards, of course, the backlash was on this particular actress, Hannah Waddingham. And basically, she told off a photographer simply because he said, show us a bit of leg. Now, this back in the 1970s, 80s, 60s would have been thought nothing. But apparently she called him out, basically saying, of course, well, it was terrible. You know, he shouldn't be allowed to say that. This is the brand new world that we live in. Even though, as you can see, Hannah's been willing to show leg for quite a number of years on her succession and rise to the top. But it was another story at the Olivier's that really caught my eye because it just goes to show exactly how things pan out. And I wanted your take on this as ever. Let me explain. Morning, lovely to see you. Thank you so much for joining. Well, I have a quick wave again, sorry. How are you? Are you all right? Yes, thank you so much. Olivier Awards, you know, big thing. Oh, absolutely big thing. And I was lucky enough to meet the great man himself, albeit for a very short moment, uh, while he was filming up in uh, Yorkshire. Who remembers Brideshead Revisited? What a show that was, absolutely. Now, of course, the Olivier Awards are one of the most prestigious, if not the most prestigious, event in the theatrical calendar. And it's the great and the good that get up and, of course, pick up those lovely gongs. There was a wonderful performance of a gentleman who sang all of his way right through to the stage, uh, the hit song from the Andrew Lloyd Webber musical, Sunset Boulevard. What a performance that guy gave. Really good, in fact, you know. And a wonderful orchestra, too. Let's not forget them. But what's interesting is this. You see, I remember reading way back about a wonderful actress called Margaret Lockwood, big star in the 1930s, 40s and 50s. And she pointed out in her book that she was going to be voted the very best film star of 1947 or something like that. But then because she couldn't turn up for the award ceremony at the Savoy Hotel, well, they binned her and they gave it to somebody else. She thought it was funny. She didn't mind. Now, Sarah Jessica Parker has been in town literally for the last three months at the Savoy Theatre with her brand new production of Neil Sarman's Plaza Suite alongside her real life husband Matthew Broderick to great success. Box office gold sellout done incredibly well. Now she was nominated in the category for best actress and you know one might suspect well she would definitely be up there to win. After all there we have a huge US star all thanks to her time of course in Sex in the City and now the spin-off just like that. But let's not forget Sarah Jessica was a big star as a young child, all thanks to the musical Annie. Oh yes, way back all those years ago on Broadway. Now mysteriously, one might say mysteriously, uh, basically Sarah Jessica and her husband Matthew had to dash back, literally to continue filming, just like that the moment the curtain virtually came down last Saturday evening in London's glittering West End. Now, I'm not one to say here that perhaps, unless they had cast iron guarantees that she was going to be picking up the gong, well, perhaps they may have stayed. I mean, let's be honest, if you were assured that you were going to be picking up such a prestigious award, you would have stayed, would you not? But seemingly, yes, filming called and then literally she had to dash away, couldn't even stay to sit alongside the other nominees. Now, I'm not casting aspersions, as you know, but what I find fascinating is that this would have been a wonderful opportunity, would it not, to give back to the community, of course, that have supported her so much and her husband for the last three months. Either way, it seems that nothing could tempt Sarah Jessica to stay. And just like that, she disappeared. I wonder why. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.